broken. No kidding. Ow. I need to realign it. No, no, no. You ruined it. Just try and relax. Ah. You want to keep it this way? Fine by me. She might mess up my beautiful face. From where I'm standing, it's pretty messed up already. Just let her. No. I'll do it myself. Are you serious? How did two of our senior staff get into a fist fight over a salad? She started it. I'll give you a moment. Typical. That is so you, not taking any responsibility. Big bald man, baby. I am not. Really? Just stop. This is not my fault. He's the one who can't be friends with an assertive woman. Excuse me. I'm married to one. At least I'm not friends with that Weasley snake, Tom. Okay, okay. Back in your corners, please. You need to grow up. Both of you. Maeve, I'm not having anything to do with you until you two find a way to play nice with each other. Yeah, and Drew, that goes for me too. <sighs> that... Ah! Josh! Ah, no! Are you okay in here? <sighs> I'm trying to straighten my nose. He still won't accept my help. I give up. You need something to bite down on? You're offering a hand. Not to bite, but I can help you with your snorer. Come on, look at me. Okay, thanks. Oh, I am just a, a nurse, though, I forgot. Maybe you want to wait for someone with a larger student debt to come along? Listen, maybe I went too far last night. You've changed your tune. Well, a night on the couch with a bloody broken nose will do that. Harper's gone Arctic. Yeah, I should maybe think about apologising, too. I am in the same boat, or on the same couch. I got the silent treatment to Nicole is fuming. I don't know which one's scarier. <laughs> Nicole. No, Harper. Hey. That's my missus, careful. You can't break my nose twice, can you? Go on, just let me do it. Don't enjoy this too much. I will try not to. Okay, on the count of three, brace yourself. One, two. Oh, 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 you lying witch. Stop whining, you'll be fine in a minute. Huh. Bad mullins. I look good. <laughs> Flat white for you, old buddy old pal. Sure thing, Drewsbury. No way. No, I don't buy it. And I am leaving before I get hit with a flying lemmington. Relax, relax. We have buried the hatchet. Hmm. I fixed his nose. Hmm? Hmm? I'm even more devilishly handsome than before. Please stop. Too easy. And too good to be true. We apologise. How stupid do you think we are? No, but we're, we're telling the truth. Guys, this is not our first rodeo, so please quit clowning around. Time be a bit more convincing, will ya? Can't do another night on the couch. Harper <sighs> and Drew having issues? A small tiff, don't get excited. I always knew that guy was a dick, and you have always known it. Well, I might have changed my mind. No, is that, is that why you broke his nose? How did you find out? Everyone's talking about it. <sighs> it's not my finest hour. Well, he does have a very smackable face. He's not that bad. And we did sort of make up, and Nicole doesn't believe me. No, but doesn't believe Drew. Nope. So Drew and I have got to find a way to prove it. Well, you could just burn that bridge for good. Shut up. See, I can handle your rough and tumble ways, Mom. McCaskill can't handle a friend like you. on people like that. I wasn't creeping. Are you okay? Yeah, just... Hey, do you think everyone's on the love spectrum? Is that a new drug that the kids are taking? No, no, like the sexuality spectrum, like who you're attracted to, even if you're not supposed to or you weren't expecting to. Where, where is this coming from? Have, have you met someone? A woman? Uh, no, I have tried being lesbian, remember? <laughs> and I was not very good at it. Although women do have soft lips and they smell nice, and some men have soft lips and smell nice too, but it's usually the gay ones. Is this about Jack? No. What? It's just you guys have been spending a lot of time Yeah, lately. he's been a really good friend since Prince left. Are you okay? 
yeah, you know, you're just gonna put it behind you and move on. Right, right. Um, so you, you think you're ready to move on? Well, no, but if the right person came along and they felt the same. Just say it, Dawn. Okay, hypothetically. Have you ever known someone to be quite definitely gay and then it turns out that maybe they're a bit less gay or? Well, um, I think I think everyone is on a spectrum of, right. of sorts, but you know, some people think if you if you pick your lane, you stick to it. Right. Right. Are we talking about anyone in particular? No, no, it's just hypothetical. Yeah, right, because the thing is you, you and, and Jack have no, been... we're not friends. talking about Jack. Okay. Six down. Wooden, beginning with P. Plank. There's only five letters. Can you count? I've got the last three words. I am carrying you. <laughs> <laughs> this is fun. See? We're still mates. Yeah. Yeah, you kids playing nicely? Yes, we are, mummy. We're creepy. Shut up. Just like we thought, all an act. No, it's not. What's that word? Don't know, that's why I'm going crazy. No, can't help you. Just start a new one. It's no good. I can never finish him by myself. You used to do them with? That traitorous Richard nerd. Boyd. Why is Harper so keen on us getting along? I know. We're not five-year-olds with our mums forcing us together on a play date. <laughs> you called Nicole mum. You're the creepy one. Not the same at all. What are you doing? That's not even a word. It's finished, though. What are you doing? I am sending this to Boyd. He would lose his mind if I did this. <laughs> Ultimate sin. What is this? More fake mates fun from you two? We didn't know you were going to walk in. We're not faking anything. Yeah, I mean, he's an arrogant oaf. And she's infuriating and rude. But we are chill. No more salad flinging. Right. Because of what? Absolutely not. Do your own crossword. Yeah, do your own crossword. I'll see you tomorrow. I'll bring a pencil. Boyd always insisted on pencil. Yeah, of course he did. 